Hello and welcome to my repurpose.io tutorial. Here I'm gonna show you how to get started from scratch, from square one. I have removed all of my workflows, my connections and my templates just to show you how it's done. And if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, you can actually try out repurpose.io for free. They give you a few uploads for repurposing, so you can follow along that way. Let's begin. So let's say you get your account, you're up and running, whether it's free or upgraded. The first thing you wanna do is go to your connections. This is what's gonna allow you to connect, say YouTube to another platform where you would like to obviously repurpose your social media videos. So once we're on connections on the left side, let's click on add new connection. Okay, so for this one, the source for me is gonna be YouTube. That means that, let's say, this is gonna be the platform where you already have a lot of videos and you just wanna simply upload them from there to go somewhere else. So for me, YouTube's gonna be my source, although it could be your destination. So keep in mind when you're using this, where do you have the most amount of videos right now? That's probably where you're gonna to wanna to start with when it comes to your source. Let's click on YouTube. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a name of YouTube and given the fact that this is going to be specifically for these source videos, which means they're gonna be taken from here and put on another platform, I'm just gonna go with read only here and click on connect. All right, and after logging into my specific YouTube channel, I am gonna be good to go with that. Obviously, you would do the same thing. So now that we have our source in this specific example, let's find a destination. So I have videos on YouTube, where do I wanna put them or upload them to? Let's click here, and for this example, I'm gonna go with LinkedIn. This is gonna be the destination. Let's click here. And I'm just gonna call this LinkedIn and connect. And similar with YouTube, all you need to do is simply log in in order to connect your account. All right, so there we are. Now, normally what you'd wanna do is go and create a workflow, but there's one other section I wanna talk about quickly, which is gonna be templates. So whenever you go to upload a video, what you can do is create these specific templates to kind of make it look a little jazzier. Maybe you wanna add like subtitles to them. Maybe you want it to be a title. You know, you can have a progress bar. Let's do that very quickly and create a new template. For this one, it can be video to video or audio to video. I'm gonna do video to video here. I like square. If you're doing, say, a lot of like TikTok videos, Instagram reels, you might wanna go with something vertical, but I'm gonna go with square. And I'm just gonna call this square so I know that it's for a square video. Let's click on next. And it's pretty simple here. You know, you don't have to change a whole lot. There's a few elements that you can add. So. Keep in mind, like the first time I use this, I'm like, how do I edit my headline? The idea here is that this is just gonna be where your headline goes. So a lot of times, say for a YouTube video, this is gonna be the YouTube title, okay? What we can also do, say we wanna add uh, a caption right here. We can do add captions, simply click on it, and this is where your captions will be displayed. I like centering it here. We also have a progress bar, which is nice. So as the video goes, it's gonna keep going on and on and on. Uh, there's some other things like static text, there's elements, we have backgrounds, there's uploads in case you wanna use it, and even some giphys in case you wanna add something there. However, I think plain looks just fine for me. You can play around with that if you want, but just kind of showcasing if you wanna use templates, this is how it's gonna be, okay? Once you are done, simply click on the X. There isn't a save button here that I know of, but clicking on X here will save it for you. All right, so there we are. That is a specific template that we can utilize if we want to. Now let's go over to the workflows, which is gonna be on the left side. All right, let's create our new workflow. And I'm just gonna call this YouTube to LinkedIn. I'd recommend just calling your workflow where your videos are gonna be and where they're gonna go. I just think it's best that way so that you know, obviously, what the workflow is doing. If you give it a random name like social media repurposing, you'll have to actually go into it and figure out where it's going. You know what I mean? So just give it the best description possible when it comes to the two socials that you're gonna be using. So where it starts and where it's going. Let's click next. As we talked about our source, here is gonna be YouTube. So I'm gonna go to YouTube source connection, YouTube uh, playlist. We can do just main channel, no playlist, or like I have a lot of them, but I'm just gonna go with the main channel here so I can have a bunch of them. And for this, depending on what you do, if you have shorts and videos, I'm mostly all about that long content, okay? So less shorts for me, so I'm just gonna go with videos here. Let's click next. Obviously, if it's different for you, you can always just do all shorts and videos in case you wanna get everything. Let's click next. Action, of course, we want upload video, that's gonna be fine. We don't need to convert video to audio. And of course, we want full mode. You can do snippets, but I like full mode or full video that is just because I have longer videos, okay? Let's click on next. And this is the destination as we talked about before. We have YouTube as our source in this example, and they're gonna be you know, repurposed to LinkedIn in this example. Let's go with that. And in my personal feed is gonna be completely fine and done. 
And there we have it. It says your content is being fetched and will appear shortly. Reload the page to see the latest updates. Sure, why not, right? So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna click on the refresh. You can obviously go here and just reload the page, but you can go here as well. So let's reload right here. Okay, and let's say I'm just gonna go with the repurpose review. I have a review for it as well. So what we wanna do here, there's obviously the ability to sort. You can do newest to oldest, oldest to newest. It's really up to you how you wanna sort them. You can do duration. So maybe if you're looking for something that's a little bit shorter, you can do that. And of course we have all content and there's just a few other things in case you know they're unpublished and so on and so forth. So aside from that, we can do manual or auto. Obviously auto is gonna be nice, but really depends on how many videos you have. I would say that in the beginning, if you have a plethora of them to start, like scheduling them you can kind of slow drip feed them and so on and so forth but just to kind of give you an example i do want to show where you can use that template should you want to let's click on the settings right here all right so we have the original video no resizing you'll notice how there's also vertical video and there's also going to be the square and so on and so forth now these are going to be some that are pre-created but what we can also do is if we have our my templates right here we can simply click on here and choose this one. So as you can see, the title would be right here, of course, and like this is gonna be where the caption would be auto displayed. But I'm just gonna go with the original video. I like it like that. You know, I think it looks good even without the template, but that's fine. So burn subtitles into video. If you wanna enable these, the captions are going to be right here. That's really up to you, but you know, you can choose the outline color, you can choose the color of that. I'm just gonna go with disabled, which I think is fine. We also have a few other things here in case you want an intro and an outro file, along with some other things where you can exclude videos that contain specific hashtags. So if there are that you want to exclude, you can do that. You can only do ones with specific hashtags. Here it also talks about excluding YouTube shorts. Remember previously I chose only the longer videos, which is why that's checked off. It says only import YouTube shorts, which I don't care for, and use YouTube title in instead of description when posting. So uh, I'm not gonna go with that. I like keeping my description because I obviously have my links and my disclaimers and everything else in there. So I'm gonna keep it like that. We have some other things like add custom text to destination. You can upload the subtitle file to LinkedIn. I'm gonna keep that off. You can automatically publish a custom comment for each video. There's email notifications and auto trim if you want to do that, but I'm just gonna go with save right here. Okay, so that's the setting. So now what we can do, let's just say, I'm gonna go with this one right here for schedule. And you're gonna notice how we have, like, I have my description here, which I like. There's first comment, I'm just gonna keep blank. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run to uh, YouTube very shortly and I'm gonna get this thumbnail file and I'm just gonna paste it in. I forgot it was still on my computer, so uh, that's always a good thing. So what you can do is you can schedule it if you want for a specific date and time. This is where the calendar comes into play. I'm not gonna go too deep into this, but if you click on a specific day, say we have like Tuesday here, you can obviously do the specific date and time. That's how you can pretty much like drip feed a lot of your content, especially if you have a ton of videos. But for the sake of this video, I just wanna publish it right now just so you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna click on publish now. All right, and as you can see, it's gonna be queued. So what we can do, obviously, as it keeps going, maybe you made a mistake too, you can hit the cancel button, but it's very similar to before. Once it gets going, we can hit the refresh button. I'll do it right now. I'm not sure if it'll change immediately, but there we go, processing. So this is a nine minute video. I have noticed that I've tested it before with like a, it was around a 20 minute view uh, video. I don't remember exactly. If it is a longer video, it will take a little bit longer. If it's a short video, like a minute or two minutes, it's gonna be very quick. This will be right in the middle. So my guess would be ballpark around like a few minutes. What I'm gonna do is open up my LinkedIn page so that when it is done, you can see what it looks like. So give me a second and I'll be right back in the future. All right, so there we are. That probably only took a few minutes. I wasn't actually counting, but you'll notice how it shows published now. And what I can do is I just have my recent videos here. I'm gonna reload this for you. And as you can see, there's gonna be our repurpose.io review and demo. Let's click here. And there we go, there it's going to be just published very recently. So I have all my description there, just published. And of course we have our video. So very cool overall. I think uh, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this, especially if you already have a lot of content. I'm more of a long form content dude. I do do some of the shorter form of content, but I think you're gonna have even more fun if you're bigger on like TikTok, 
Instagram reels and so on and so forth. But that's a very quick overview and tutorial of repurpose.io. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I know I talked about the calendar. That's like the last thing that showed up. If you do schedule something, it's going to showcase, you know, right where it's going to be going, where you published and so on and so forth. Just to give you an idea, if you're looking for say like a social media posting calendar, that will help you out with that. But in my opinion, it's pretty self-explanatory. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this repurpose.io tutorial and I hope you enjoy.